Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well yesterday we put together this little portfolio section here, filtered portfolio. And this is a sort of standard button layout which is fine, but I kind of want to make it my own. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of custom CSS to turn this into something like this which is much more in line with what we've got going on with our little theme here. So I'm going to go in and undo all the custom CSS I put in there. Let's delete all of this and save my changes. Now if I go back here and refresh those should be returned to how they were like that. Fantastic. Okay, Divi is absolutely awesome. Just keeps getting better and better. If you want to take the theme for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link just below this video. So I'm using Google Chrome here. It's got the fantastic inspector tools. If I right click and hit inspect on this, this will take us down to the HTML. If you've got elements tab selected on one side, you'll get HTML and styles on the other side, you'll get CSS. Yours may be on a different side or different place. You can have it wherever you want it and just hit these little three buttons. I like mine on the bottom personally. But as long as you've got the elements tab selected here, you'll have HTML and the styles over here, you'll have CSS. So we've selected one of our little links here and this is what we actually want to change. So I've got to go in and write some CSS for this. Don't worry trying to copy it as I'm doing it. I'll put this below the video and you're welcome to use it if you wish. Okay, so let's just right click on any one of these links. There it is highlighted right there. What we've got over here is what it is. It's ETPB filterable portfolio and it's the list items and it's the anchor, the actual link, if you will. So all this is fine. I've got to change a couple of things and we're going to have to use important to override these, these skills here. I don't like to use that often, but sometimes you have to. And this is one of those times. So I'm going to say background. orange as we've been using orange and blue for our theme here and I can say important and as you can see it's turned them all orange and it's overwritten the, the background color below here so if I do that that'll stay there okay so we've got the background color the color we want if you want the writing to be white color, so I'll just say color FFF, which is white. And again, to make it override the styles below, we got a color of 666 below. You will have to put important in there. There we go, that's done that. Now it's got a bit of a white board around there and I want to change that to orange as well. As we see, we'll have to do another overwrite here. So I'm just going to simply go under our last entry and say border. I want that to be orange as well. Of course you put in whatever color you wish yours to be. And again, I'll have to use the important to override the below stars. So that's our borders are all nice and orange now. Now I want to make them kind of pill shaped like the rest of our buttons on our, our theme here. So I'm going to give it a border radius. Radius. Let's say 50 pixels, which is what we've been using on our little buttons there. That's fine, that's going to work fine. There's no, don't see any other border radius. 
We'll try putting important on the bottom back side of that, but I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. Okay, that's fine. Now, what else do we want to do? What I want to do is I want to separate these a bit and I want them all to be the same width. So let's give them a width of, say, 170. You can make it bigger or smaller, obviously, 170 picks. There we go, I think that's fine. And now I want them to be slightly separated. So I'm just going to give them a margin of 10. Now we've got to overwrite some margin styles here again. So again, we'll have to use that important class. I'm just going to give them a margin of 10 all round. That'll be top, right, bottom and left. So it'll give them sort of 20 picks in between. Margin, 10 pixels. Okay, so I have to overwrite, so we have to use the important again. There we go, and it's popped it between them. Now, for these buttons, that's all I want to do. The active one, I'm going to have blue, and a hover cover, I'm going to make blue. But for the time being, I want to copy all of this to where we left off, which was that margin there. Control C. make sure I've got that copy because when I refresh it's just going to go back to how it was because this is what they call non-destructive I'm just doing it live on the browser so it's not going to take effect until I actually hard code this into the theme so there it is we need to write that to make it stick so I've copied it let's go to our theme I'm in the general tab first tab down to Divi first tab down at the bottom we got custom CSS this is also available at the bottom of the customizer too. Right, I'll give it a title. So that's forward slash star star forward slash. So the title won't show up. We put it between these two stars here. Now I'm going to go down below and just paste in what I copied. And I'm missing, got an opening curly bracket there. Got to make sure I've got a closing one on the end there and there we go now I've got a little exclamation because we've got a width and a border sometimes make things slightly different but for what we're doing today it makes no difference at all so that's fine okay let's save that hit our save changes now I'm going to copy this again just from background to margin to the end of the semicolon there. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to go back to our site. Now when I refresh, these should return to being orange and pill shaped. There we go, fantastic. Now what I want to do is to do the active one. Just click on one, make sure it's active. And now we'll inspect it. We've got the class of active, active right here. So if we look down, here we go. There's our class with active on the end. We could have just copied what we had there and put dot active at the end, but let's do this. I'm just going to paste in the CSS we had before. And I'm going to change this to blue because that's the color I want. And also on this one. So now the active one will be blue. And again, I want to copy all of this from the dot up there to the closing curly bracket. When I paste it in, I can actually get, get rid of the ones we haven't changed, which is those bottom two right there. So let's go back. Let's go down a couple and paste this in. There we go, we've got our active right there, and it's blue. And I want to get rid of those last two entries, because we did not change those. Close up the gap. Save. 
Now the only other thing I want to do is to change the hover effect. See if I refresh now. I pull this down a bit so we can see. The active one's still blue every time we do it. But when I hover over one, I want it to be blue also. So I'm going to select one that's not active. Again, I'm just going to push this up. And I'm going to go over here and hit where it says hover. Now it will give me the options to highlight hover. As you can see, it's put the hover in right here. So what I want to do, I want, I'm want i going to copy this, just the title there, and the opening curly bracket, where it says hover. I'm going to go back to my custom CSS, drop down a couple more. Put those titles in there, or those classes. Then I'm just going to copy what we had here for the blue, all the way down to the closing curly bracket there, because we've got our opening one there. Control C go down paste that in there save this go back and that should be complete now if I get rid of our inspector refresh now when I hover over as you can see it's turning blue so we've got a hover state we've got our active state and we got our buttons, which is absolutely fine. So there you have it. There's how to customize your portfolio buttons using a bit of custom CSS. Like I say, I'll put this CSS below this video. You're welcome to use it. Obviously change the colors and styles to what you need. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.